Well, good morning, everyone. I am right now making a review of this mongoose malice that I purchased on Amazon for a reasonable price. Now, it come in three color phases. It come with tan, uh, black, and also silver, but just to let everyone know that if you're wanting black or silver, you're gonna pay $100 more than what the tan has to offer. And I kind of like this. Uh, it gives me that mossy oak color. Just to let you know, this is a giddy up seat. Okay, it does not come with the bike. Uh, this is something I purchased separately, recommend it. If you're a guy as big as I am, I'm 300 pounds. Uh, yeah, definitely you wanna get a seat like this. It looks very good with a fat tire bike and uh, I'm not gonna complain about it. Okay, so just to let you know that the amount of tire pressure I have on here is 12 pounds. Um, I know it goes, I think the max tire pressure you can put on here, if I'm not mistaken, is 20 pounds. And uh, yeah, so max is gonna be 20 pounds PSI. I'm not gonna go into full detail. Let's go take this bike for a ride. All right. Yeah, it rides pretty smooth. Definitely rides smooth. I could see myself putting a Bifang motor on this bad boy make this an electric bike. So right now I'm on hard pavement, as you can see. And I'll be doing some off-road biking shortly, but as always, I like to test out my bikes, see if I'm gonna like it. It's interesting, uh, YouTube videos, I've, I've seen YouTube videos on this bike and, you know, some saying that this bike is very, very heavy, but I don't feel, I don't feel that. I have a heavier bike uh, at home and I ride it very, very good. I mean, it, it doesn't give me any problems or issues. Um, the lighter for me is the better, but I can see where it may look heavy and it could be in his 50s you know maybe 50 pounds maybe a little over 50 pounds but when you try to pick this bike up man this bike is light compared to what i have and i have an aluminum bike at home and this is steel if i'm not mistaken so steel frame rigid um just to let you know it's a rigid bike so you're not going to have the shock absorbent that you would if you had you know a regular mountain bike but i think the tires make up for it the tires are four inch tires i have the gear set at four i don't want to shift it back and forth only because i already done it yesterday i took the bike out for a ride yesterday and we're gonna get a little rain today so before it does rain i decided to go ahead and take it out for a spin so we'll go over this curb. Went over the curb real fine. I don't, uh, I didn't feel any bumps, heavy bumps. I'm on the sidewalk here, so I don't feel comfortable on the highway out here. But yeah, anytime you go bike riding off road, you definitely want to make sure that the PSI is definitely lower than you would on hard pavement. I see a dog here, so I'm going to go around. I'll just, no, you're good. I'm going to get out your way. Got out of his way. You know, it's interesting. I went around him and uh, went on the grass and it went over the grass pretty nice I mean I had to put a little power to it but uh, it went over the grass pretty nice now if I was to ride my regular mountain bike uh, yeah that uh, would not have been an easy task to go on the grass I've done it before and it took a lot out of me but that went over the grass really nice not that I'll ride this on grass all the time, but just to get out of someone's way. I don't expect them to get out my way, uh, especially if they're on a the sidewalk. But uh, 
so yeah I'm noticing the rims the rims are nice and straight it's not wobbly that's one of the things I look at when I first uh, put it together so I don't have to adjust the uh, spokes uh, at least this one anyways I mean I'm not gonna say that all of them are like that that get sent out but for these first thing I looked at front tire looks good front rims look great this bike is not meant for speed it's not meant to race I mean you probably can but my purpose is for that to be uh, it's really to coast cruise um, and again like I say I, I mountain I mountain ride I do a lot of photography outdoor photography and I just basically you know need something to go to one place to another I walk four miles every time I hike and it does get tiring uh, so you know with a bike I'm able to pick my locations of where I want to be that day and plan it out and just ride So if you're thinking about getting a fat tire bike, you know, I wouldn't mind telling you and recommending the Mongoose Malice. Uh, the price range is great, even if you've gone with the silver or black color bicycle. You're still paying $100 more, but the price is still good. I would recommend that. But, uh, of course, I'm not here to sell anything I don't uh, I'm not advertising for any company uh, so definitely not being paid to say what I'm saying I'm just giving my true opinion on the bike that I'm using that I just purchased yesterday actually came in yesterday believe it or not Amazon uh, what I found impressive was that when I ordered the bike this bike it was selling out like crazy I mean, you had to actually get ready to purchase it, if not wait in line for it. It was going out like crazy, uh, probably because of the holidays. But anyway, it said that it would be here in two weeks. I got it two days later. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I wasn't expecting it that quick. Nice ride. It was a nice ride this morning. And that's it. That's my review. I think uh, it passed. I like it. Uh, can't wait to take it off road. See what it really can do. I'll make a video. Definitely make a video on that as well. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time visiting my channel, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to subscribe. Look at my other videos. Maybe you'll find something of interest. But uh, yeah, this is the video that I was eager to make of the Mongoose Malice. To my next video. See ya.